Hi gals, it's Scrapping Pink Lady Lisa here, back with another video. This is my finished junkets journal for the month of June for Joanna. And this is for her, so I hope she likes it. We decided, both of us, not to go with the theme. And she said, I can do whatever I like. So here's the front. And the front of this inspiration comes from Yoli Bean. I bought all my kids a box of Capri Sun just so I could cut it up and use the boxes and do the distress technique on the front. And this flower comes from one of the flowers that I received in my flower swap. So thank you for the beautiful flowers, gals. And I used my new dress form stamp on the front and I used a painting technique. And then I used some gold shimmers on the front also. So this is the front cover. And then I just kept the binding simple. I just bound it with some jute twine on the side. So, some of these pages you may have already seen. Uh, you open it up and here on the first page we have a pocket with some really pretty antique looking lace and that's from Mickey Schweitzer, so thank you Mickey. And then this little book here I received in one of the swaps I did and the inside just has blank pages so she can do journaling and add pictures. And then this page here is just a half page and I cut the bird cage out with my um, sure cuts a lot and then I also stamped the bird from my girls paper reset and I used a te painting technique too with a Tim Holtz Adaz to get this a sore and then if you flip it over on the back it's left blank so that she can do journaling and then on this page I used Kane Company paper and I made these two tags here to go in the pocket and they're just blank on both sides so she can journal or add pictures and then this sweet bingo ticket came from a vintage findings pack that I had and then I have some um, sewing pattern dress pattern back here that I cut and mod podged on and then I have this flower with some more of that same lace across the bottom and a pearl, prima pearl in the middle. And those just slip right back in the pocket there. And then on this page, again I have the dress form and I have lace and some roses and pearls on it. And I've tied it with brown ribbon and then when you open it, it opens and there's a three spot so she can add pictures and do journaling there. I do want a video. I'll be done in just a minute. And then on this page I added Prima Lace or Prima Ribbon Rose at the bottom and I stamped with my Tim Holtz stamp using the Eiffel Tower. And then there's more of the K and Company Life's Journey paper and it looks like posted stamps across the back and then I tore the edges and then I just kept it simple and just did a pink photo mat so she can add a photo and do journaling on that. And then on this page here I did that painting technique again and I took a chipboard frame and I painted it and then I used my Fritz script stamp over the top real lightly and then I added UT and added the pearls and the stamp is raised up on pot dots and I don't have a piece of paper but it's raised up on pot dots so you see you can see she'll be able to slip a picture or a stamped quote or something in there and then the last page I just kept really simple because I didn't want to cover up the pretty paper but I have some Prima Baby Roses that I used my Truffle Shimmer Spritz on and then a ribbon rosette that I made and with a Prima Leaf and then on the back I did the painting technique and I used the same distressed technique and ripping off the cardboard so the corrugated cardboard showed through and this was another journal spot from the Vintage Findings things that I had and I just kind of inked it up a little bit and I wrote my name and my paper pantry name and that this was for the June 2010 junk mini swap at your paper pantry. So Joanna this is for you if you don't want a sneak peek to see what your mini looks like then don't watch and I'll put that in the title. Thanks for watching ladies. Have a great day. Bye!